Almec Civilization Art An Almec Stone Head The first Mesoamerican culture was the Almec Civilization, which rose in the southeastern region of the modern-day nation of Mexico. Established sometime between 1400 and 1200 BC, it did not decline until roughly 400 BC. It began as a farming culture in the Tabasco region, which is crossed by an extensive river system that provided irrigation and a means of transportation for the Almecs. As the population in the area increased, the trappings of civilization, including a leadership class, organized religion, great building projects, extensive trade networks, and the development of art, accompanied it. Today, little of the Almecs remains except for some remnants of their cities and numerous works of art, the majority of which consists of cave paintings, sculptures, pottery, jade masks, jewelry, and colossal stone heads. While a few wooden artifacts have been unearthed, most Almec art that has survived to the present day was done in stone, which is better able to endure the hot, tropical climate in the Almec homeland. Human figures are typical representations in Almec art and often have cleft heads, thick lips, almond-shaped eyes, and downturned mouths. Animals, especially fish and snakes, are common figures in Almec art, but jaguars held a special place in Almec beliefs. According to Almec mythology, they reproduced with human females and produced a hybrid being that modern archaeologists call a war jaguar. Showing how popular jaguars were to the Almecs, numerous pieces of Almec art depict humans holding what appear to be war jaguar babies. Among the most renowned of all Almec art objects are the enormous stone heads that have been discovered at numerous ancient sites. And the largest stand up to 3 meters high, weigh 20 tons, and are made from basalt. Their bottoms are flat, and their heads rest on the ground with nothing to support them. They have the classic Almec almond-shaped eyes, downturned mouths, and fleshy lips, and the heads also seem to be wearing helmets similar to those that the Almecs wore in a ball game they once played. The purpose of the heads is uncertain, but some archaeologists have speculated that they represent various rulers of the Almecs, so the statues were made to honor them. Other major Almec artwork includes statues and steels, some of which have carvings on their faces, as well as extremely large carved stone thrones. On a smaller scale, the Almecs were adept at creating tiny stone figurines, typically from jade. They were particularly skilled at making masks, also from jade. Some masks were small and might have served as decorations while others were life-sized and were likely worn on people's faces during ceremonies. Cave paintings are among the rarest extant examples of Almec art as there are merely a few examples. The Almecs believed in a god called the Earth Dragon, who was said to dwell inside caves, so it is likely that caves found with paintings on their walls served as places of worship. Many cave paintings portray the common motif of humans and animals living together, with jaguars being the most prominent animals. The Almec people additionally made exquisite pottery from the numerous fine clays found in their homeland. Most of the pottery was painted in rich hues of red, orange, green, and blue, and designs were frequently etched into the clay. Examples of Almec pottery have been found in areas all around Central America, which shows how extensive their trade contacts and influence in the region were. Archaeologists have proved that the clay used in the pottery came from nearby major Almec cities, and they can also date the pottery to the time that the Almec civilization reigned supreme in the area. The conclusion they have reached is that the pottery was a major trade item for the Almecs. Clues regarding the influence of the Almecs in their geographical region can be found in other works of art as well. For example, the jade they utilized in masks and figurines was taken from a valley in Guatemala, which is far from their homeland. Without a doubt, the Almecs' trade system and desire for material to construct art with brought them into contact with other people and helped them attain a great amount of influence on various Mesoamerican civilizations.